This video is going to be about measuring the area of squares, rectangles, and other polygons like that. Now, area is the amount of space that covers a figure or a region. So when you think of area, what you need to think of is the amount of space that's covered by something. So it can be a rug, or maybe you have a garden, or the water in a swimming pool. All of those, we would measure that finding its area. An area is measured in square units. Okay, and that units can change. It can be inches, or feet, or miles, or whatever. Um, but you always have to have the word square in it, okay? So a square unit is a square that has a side length of one unit. For example, one square inch is a square and all of its sides, all four of its sides, measure one inch. Let me show you what that looks like. So you see here, and obviously this is not to scale, this is not an actual inch, but we have a square here and all four sides are going to be one inch. So this side is one inch down this side, this side over here. So we call this area one square inch. If you remember, um, maybe in your classroom, if you've ever looked down at the, uh, the ceiling or the, the floor tiles, those floor tiles are typically uh, about one foot. If you measured it, it would be one foot on each side. So we would say those tiles are one square foot. Okay, so what is the area? If I take a look at this rectangle, um, and what I'm going to do to find the, the area of this rectangle is I'm going to count up how many squares are in the inside. Now, remember, perimeter is around the outside. So um, we'll look at that here in just a second. But to find the area, we're just going to count these squares. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is, there's no measurement. So we know that this is eight units. But remember, when we're finding area, we have to put the word square units. So we're going to say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight square units. Okay, here's another one. And again, to find this, we're simply going to count the number of squares uh, that this uh, particular shape covers. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what is the area of this particular uh, shape, this particular polygon? Well, the area, if you count all those squares, is going to be 12 square units. All right, here's another one. Uh, so what is the area of this particular one? Again, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, there are 8 squares here. Uh, so the area here would be, that's right, 8 square units. All right, so let's go back for just a second. We're going to sc scroll back to this particular shape. Remember, area is the amount of space that it covers. Perimeter, which we looked at in another lesson, is the the distance around the outside. So the perimeter for this one is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? And it's important to remember this is going to be 12 units is the perimeter and 8 square units. The area and the perimeter are not always going to be the same. In fact, sometimes they're not even close to being the same. You can find the perimeter here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So even though the... Uh, area of this particular uh, shape was 12 square units, the perimeter is 26 units. All right, let's keep going here. We're going to scroll past all this. We're going to look at that. Now, another way to find the area of a square or rectangle is to multiply the length and the width. So we're going to do some multiplication here. 
All right, and this only works if you have a square or a rectangle. Now, uh, we have this rectangle here, and you see that the measurements are, this is six inches, and the, the width is four inches, so it's six inches long and four inches wide. All right, and it says we multiply six times four, that's the length and the width, to find the area. And remember, we have to give the answer in square units, okay? So in this case, it would be inches. And the area here, six times four, the area is 24 square inches. All right, so here's another rectangle. Um, this time, the, the length is four centimeters and the width is eight centimeters. So we're going to multiply four times eight to find the area. And the unit this time is centimeters. So we're going to say square centimeters to give our answer. Well, four times eight we know is 32 square centimeters. All right, so what is the area of this particular rectangle? Remember to give your answer in square units. Okay, so for this one, there's no measurements on the side, so we're going to count the squares. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five. And then we got three going down, so we can multiply five times three, or we can just count all the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, or uh, five times three is 15, so regardless, our answer is going to be 15 square units. All right, and here's uh, one more. I believe this is our last one. So what is the area here? Again, you can either um, count all the squares or you can use the array. We can go three, we can go seven times three because we go down and swim over. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, seven times three. Or we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. However you look at it, the area is 21 square units. Now remember, as we review, the amount of space that covers a figure or a region, so that could be dirt on the ground, it could be how much space your house covers on the yard, on the, the, the land that you're on, it could be a rug, uh, a blanket. The amount of space that covers a figure or region is its area, and we always give our answer in square units, okay? So it could be square inches, square feet, square centimeters, however it happens to be. Area is measured in square units. So that was um, how to find area. I hope that that was helpful and we'll see you next time.